Hey guys, before we start this video, I just want to let you know that over 80% of you who watch this channel aren't subscribed. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content so I can make more videos for you. Hey everyone and welcome back to the dojo. I hope you're having an awesome day so far and everyone's staying safe indoors. So today we've got something pretty interesting from Hayden Schlossberg. Now if you don't know who this is, this is actually one of the writers of Cobra Kai, the entire series. That's right, this is one of the masterminds behind the whole show. Now he went on Twitter to answer some questions from Cobra Kai fans. And unfortunately I wasn't there in time, but I did get to read, of course, the tweets that were sent to him. While scanning a bunch, which were actually quite interesting, he answered a lot. There are two questions in particular here which he answers that I want to go over with you all. Which I hope all my Terry Silver fans are perked up and ready for this. One fan asks him, who is your favorite character? My favorite character is Miguel. Hayden replies, I love them all, but if you want one, I'll say Terry Silver. Okay, so for one, this for me is a huge deal because Terry Silver is one of my favorite characters in all of Cobra Kai. He's just so snaky and evil. He's like, he's like the Emperor and Kreese is like Vader. That's kind of how I see it. So this gives me hope that obviously if the writer, if the main man himself loves Terry as a character and wants him, then he's going to have him come back to the show. At least I hope. Or at least, you know, he's going to reach out to him. Now, let's get to the next question, which really puts the nail in the coffin for me and makes me think that Terry Silver is definitely going to be in the show. Check this out. Clay asks, has Thomas Ian Griffith, who is the actor who plays Terry Silver, been contacted about making an appearance? And Hayden says, trust that I love Terry Silver. So once again, that solidifies for me that at least he's been contacted. Okay, so we know Dutch was also contacted for Cobra Kai Season 2, but he didn't want to have any part of the show. He was busy doing his own thing. I think he's racing cars or something like that, and he's comfortable with his life. He doesn't want to be back in show business. However, Thomas Ian Griffith, I hope, I mean, we will know once Season 3 comes out, maybe if we see a trailer or something, but I hope that he's going to be in the show. Now, later in this video, I'm going to talk about how he could be in the show with little theories and stuff, but there's one more thing that I want to go over. Another Cobra Kai fan asks, in all the seasons so far, episode 10 has ended on a cliffhanger. Is episode 10 in the new season the same? Someone big coming in? And Hayden says, yes. Every finale sets up an awesome next season. Okay, so this means right here, we're gonna get season four, okay? And this also means that we are gonna get someone very exciting coming in at the very end of this season. And I'm thinking that this could be Terry Silver coming in at the end of season three. I mean, that would really be the icing on the cake. That would leave us all hanging off the edges of our seats waiting for season four. Now the unfortunate part about season four is that we don't really know when it's gonna start filming because of this whole COVID stuff. So I can only hope that it's gonna be, well, soon. And I hope we're gonna get season three soon. All right, so if Terry Silver comes in at the very end, this is how I see it happening. If he's not in the show, you know, from the very beginning, which I doubt he will be, but Maybe they'll put Mike Barnes in and Terry Silver. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so I'm thinking Terry Silver comes in at the very end here after Daniel and Johnny maybe team up to create their own dojo or to synergistically work together to bring Cobra Kai down. When Terry Silver comes back in at the very end, when we see a, maybe a slumped crease who has just been defeated and pushed out of the valley, and Terry comes in and reignites that flame of the Cobra Kai. I think something like that would be really cool. I mean, it would be such a huge reflection of Karate Kid 3, and I don't know if they'll really go that route to do something so similar, but I could see that happening, you know? Or we get the, maybe, you know, Kreese wins. Maybe Kreese is just taking over the valley entirely, and Terry Silver comes in and starts to just open up more and more dojos. Now, we also know that Kim Sun Young was the founder, I believe, of Cobra Kai, and this is Kreese's sensei and Terry's sensei. So maybe we'll get to know more about this mysterious Cobra Kai master who started it all. All I know is that Terry Silver and Mike Barnes could play very big roles in the third season and especially the fourth season. You know, definitely considering the fact that Hayden says, yes, every finale sets up an awesome next season. Now for season two at the very end, the cliffhanger was Allie Mills. So I'm pretty sure they're not going to drag that out to season four. 
They're going to put her in into season three because she is a doctor, and so is her husband, so they could come in handy and, you know, help save Miguel or something like that. But Terry Silver, I think he's going to come in at the very end of the season and leave us all hanging on our seats for season four. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of information that we got from Hayden Schlossberg on his Twitter and the little theory that I attached to it. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have an awesome and safe day. Please, everyone, take care of yourselves. And remember, COVID does not exist in this dojo. Actually, yes, it does. So wash your hands.